up everybody professional wrestler Chris Wilde back with another video on Eagles news now and look I don't have to tell any Eagles fan that this has been probably one of the most frustrating seasons in Eagles history as the Eagles tie the Cincinnati Bengals 23 to 23 on Sunday now this is the time of the week that angry Allen uh, a patron here at bar 4133 gives his take on the game um, I actually received an email that has to do with Allen that I want to read to everybody and it says it's from Larry Burns 61 and it says dear professional wrestler Chris Wilde I really enjoy your channel especially the angry Allen videos now can you please give him an introductory video before each segment that he has also can you please not interrupt him as much as you do thank you go birds that's not a joke lol Larry Burns 61 so, with that being said, he attached the video that he made, and I will play it before every Angry Allen segment going forward. So, with that being said, guys, here it is. Here's Angry Allen with his take on this week's game. Can't wait to hear this, and I will not interrupt him, not once during this segment. Actually, I'm out of here because I've had a, a, a long week and after watching that game, I don't even think I can take Allen. So I'll see you guys later. Go Birds. Wake up, man. I, I played the video. Come on, dude. Wake up. It it's time. Well, I don't forget, I'm paying you for this. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. I, I fell asleep. You know, I, I was lost reading this great fiction book called Fearless by Doug Peterson. Can you believe it? Fearless? Not only is it fiction at this point, it's a comedy. I mean, did you see that mess Sunday? 23 to 23 tie to the Cincinnati Bengals? A team that hasn't been relevant since Booma Esiason? Booma? I mean, look, I told you I grew up on a farm, right? Yeah, I grew up on a farm, a chicken farm. And I've seen chickens about to go to slaughter with less fear in their eyes than I've seen in this head coach. What's his next book going to be called? Spineless? Because that's exactly what missing out on a 64-yard field goal to win the game or going for it on fourth down to possibly win the game will get you. Look, everybody knows, uh, you know, I don't even have a back, and I've got more of a spine than Doug Peterson does. But listen, at least, you know, let's look on the bright side of things. At least we're going to get uh, a top five pick in next year's draft, right? At least we're going to get a, a, a top draft pick. Oh, yeah, that's right. Howie Roseman can't even draft. Uh, there's guys, there's 63, three-year-old blind guys sitting here at the bar, drunks who haven't even seen a lick of football that can draft a better fantasy football team than Howie Roseman can a professional franchise. I mean, this is unreal. I've never seen anything like it. And talking about seeing, you know, I'm not going to just leave out the guy sitting next to me. This guy, Carson Wentz, can't see a football field to save his life. And I know, I know, people are saying, well, eventually it's going to come. He's just too good. Huh. Carson Wentz will see the field. The day that Carson Wentz sees the field right is the day that Stevie Wonder sees Carson Wentz. It's not going to happen. Never. I mean, let's take a look at just some of these draft picks that Howie Roseman has brought to us. The great J.J. Sega Whiteside. He might as well be called... 
JJ Atari Whiteside because he's as irrelevant as that machine is. You know what? I, I understand. Some of, some of this is, is very delightful and pleasurable for people to watch. Like my ex-wife. She loves watching Eagle games because she knows it tortures me. Huh. And speaking of torture, I've got to wait until 8 o'clock to watch the Eagles on Sunday night against the 49ers. Why don't I just run through traffic, you know? Something that Eagle wide receivers just haven't seemed to do lately. And uh, yeah, uh, everybody thinks uh, maybe the Eagles will find that W Sunday. Maybe they'll find a W against a team more hurt than they are. Hmm. Hmm. The only way the Eagles will find a W, if it's shoved up their rear end, because that's where their heads are. You know what? I'm going to crack open this one. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, read this to old Carson here. Nick Foles, believe it. Can you believe that Nick Foles threw three touchdowns in a comeback victory against the Atlanta Falcons with the Chicago Bears? An absolute legend. I've been saying it for weeks, and that's why Mr. Content Creator over there said he was giving me all this time without interruption. Well, guess what? I might as well pack my bags, fly to Chicago, and just bring Nick Foles back to Philly because it's the only good thing that'll happen in Philadelphia. Because, yes, bad things happen in Philadelphia, and you're going to see it Sunday, too. So, with that being said, huh, stay safe. Yeah, right. Stay healthy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go, birds. <laughs> I'll see you never. Eagle Nation to stand.